In this video, we're briefly going to talk about the measures of center. So a measure of center is a way to measure the center of data. So we're going to be talking about four measures of center. The first one is called the mode. Okay, the mode. And the mode is just the most frequently occurring. So most frequently occurring. So the mode is nice because you can use it with things that aren't numbers. So for example, ex means example. Say we had um, yes, yes, no. In this case, the most frequently occurring is yes. So that would be the mode. So that's the nice thing about the mode. You can use it with things that are not not numbers. Of course, you can also use it with numbers. So if you have 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, in this case, 2 would be the mode because it is the most frequently occurring. You can also have situations where you have no mode. For example, if we had 1, 2, 3, I guess you could be silly and you could say every number appears once, so every number is the most frequently occurring. But for all practical purposes, in this case, we would just say no mode. So the mode is the most frequently occurring. And again, it's advantageous to use when you have data that is not quantitative, right? So if you have qualitative data, the mode is very useful. Then we have what's called the median. The median is the middle number in an ordered data set. I'm going to put that in quotes. So middle number. in an ordered data set. So an ordered, ordered data set. And I put it in quotes because not every data set technically has a middle number. Um, let's do a couple simple examples. Say you had the ordered data, ordered data set one, two, three, four, five. This is an ordered data set. And the middle number in this case looks like it would be 3, right? 3 would be the middle number because here you have 1 and 5 and 2 and 4. Boom, there it is. That's the median, right? Your median in this case is equal to 3. However, sometimes you don't have, technically speaking, a middle number. So check this out. Say you had um, 1, 2, 3, 4. So there is no middle number. So how would you find the median? Well, to find it, what you would do is you would add these up and you would divide by 2. So you would do 2 plus 3 over 2. So you would get 5 over 2. So you would end up with, with 2.5. So in this case, that would be your median. Fortunately, the software that we'll be using um, does all this for us. So we don't have to do any computations by hand. I'm just kind of doing this just to show you how if you wanted to do it by hand, um, this is how you would do it. Um, then you have what's called the mean. The mean. This is what people in the world uh, typically, typically call the average. So the mean is the sum of all data. So you add up all your numbers. And then you divide by the total number of data. So total number of data. Total number of data. So if you add up all your numbers and you divide by the total number, that's the mean. So if you had four tests and you wanted your test average or your test mean, you would add up your test grades and you would divide by four. Okay. Um, the last one is kind of weird. It's the mid-range. This is the last measure of center that we'll discuss. And it's the max uh, plus the min and is divided by two. And we'll use the software for these. Actually, the software won't give us the mid-range, but it will give us the max and the min, and we add them up and divide by 2. That's it.